the original art used on Erie Publications magazines. Weird World of Erie Publications by Mike Howlett. It is on sale. The link is in the description. Welcome to the Weird World of Erie Publications. <laughs> hey folks, today we have something completely different. Several years ago, I was fortunate enough to get a hold of four prints that were taken off the original art used on Erie Publications magazines, including Tales of Voodoo, Terror Tales, Horror Tales, and weird. And they could have been some more, but I think those were the prime issues they were using. In any case, the guy that owns the original art did a spectacular job, as you can see, doing these prints. The reproductions are fantastic. Now, I tried to like bring it up so you could really get a good look at it, but it does cut off the top. But as you can see, the top is simply, you know, was reserved for the title, like Terror Tales is going to go up there. So that's kind of what we're missing, which is not much. So this is indeed for Terror Tales, April of 1973. The artist, Bill Alexander, who would do just a ton, I, I believe the mother load of art for these horror magazines from Erie Publications. In this scene, a flying vampire woman that's coming in menacing this poor you know, half-naked girl in a cemetery while well, you got this green ghoul down here pulling her into the ground. While another vampire looks on and he's like, yeah, I'm coming in for some of that action too. Now I'm going to show you how it turned out with the cover for Terror Tales. And you will see, for instance, differences in, you know, color, coloration. They did that all the time. And they ended up even cobbling these images together later on, you know, to save money. <laughs> so they would take older issues and take characters from the older issues and just kind of put them together on another cover. And that was the great cobbling. Next up, we have another fine Bill Alexander painting from the February 1973 issue of Horror Tales. And once again, as you can see, all of the action, we're, we're right here at the bottom of the frame. And uh, if you move up, you just see it's kind of black. And that's where they're going to put the title, Horror Tales. So let's take a, a little look at this, shall we? We have a vampire, this guy in the background, Igor, maybe. You know, he's kind of looking on. He's got blood coming out of his mouth. Hard to say what's going on with him, but Dracula is, of course, hassling this poor girl. And not only is she getting hassled by Dracula, she's got these freaking insects down here that are biting into her flesh. I mean, what's a girl to do? This is, as I said, a Bill Alexander painting, and now I'm going to show you how it turned out on the cover of Horror Tales magazine, February of 1973. This is number three. This art is by Oscar Novell, and uh, he did some really great covers. I love this. This is one of my favorite Eerie Pubs covers. I mean, you just, you, it's fantastic. It really is, folks. You just got these hands strangling this vampire creature, and the flesh is just ripping right off the muscle. You know, I mean, very well done. This guy really knew his shit, as you can see. Just the art is superb. Meanwhile, you got these freaky creatures in the background. This guy is like apparently a, has no arms and legs, and he's kind of crawling on down. And of course, you've got this creature lurking there on the stairwell. And uh, meanwhile, this skull kind of staring at the guy as he's getting strangled. So we're, we're going to, once again, go up to the top. As you can see, that's just reserved for the main title, 
which would be Terror Tales. Now we're going to look at how it turned out on that issue of Terror Tales. Here is the last original art print that I have, and this is from the first issue of Crime Does Not Pay from December of 1969. As you can see once again, up on top, Crime Does Not Pay goes up there. And I believe the artist here once again is Bill Alexander. Now, if it's not Alexander, I would bet that it's Carl Burgos. I could not get a direct, a definitive track on the artist on this one, but it's one of the two, I believe, Alexander or Burgos. This one is pretty extreme. I mean, they buried this guy, right? And this guy just proceeds to shoot him up. Eye flying out of his head there, his head's exploding. While the, the dame back here is doing her makeup. Just classic. You know, and of course his henchman over here with the shovel that just buried the guy up to his neck. I mean, that's that's pretty gruesome stuff, folks. 1969, okay? And uh, once again, the color reproduction is fantastic. These these prints are really a one as far as as far as reproduction goes. They just did a fantastic job, and I'm glad I was able to get a hold of some of these. I do apologize off the bat if you're hearing some background noise they're doing some major street work but that concludes my presentation of the original art from Erie Publications and now I'd like to show you a couple of the books indispensable Erie Publications books that I have first up we have the fantastic weird world of Erie Publications by Mike Howlett introduction by Stephen Bissett if you love the pubs, you gotta have this freaking book, folks. It is fantastic. Just loaded with invaluable information on the pubs, where they come from, where the stories come from. Original art, as you can see, here's a ton of the original art back here, which are, it's just fantastic reproductions once again. As you can see here, here's one I just showed you. There, there's another one. And uh, yeah, this, this thing is over 300 pages long. Gives you a gallery of a ton of the Erie pubs, which is great. Goes through the artists. There's Oscar Novell, who did this fine cover that I have one of the prints from. I mean, it is just amazing. It, get, it gets into the pre-code horror comics where these various stories came from, reprinted by Myron Foss in the pages of Erie Pubs magazines, including Weird, as you can see here. Uh, of course, it starts off in the artist chapter with the great Carl Burgos, who worked in pre-code for years, and the Golden Age. Various Erie Pubs magazines, yeah, they went there, folks. They did all of these Vice Squad detective. Mobs and Gangs, Murder Squad, Detective. I mean, all of this shit. Uh, there's The Crime Does Not Pay cover, the one I showed you. A lot of in-depth articles on Myron Foss himself, the way they did the eerie pubs, the great cobbling of the covers, <laughs> they, the way that they just repeated, you know, designs for covers and so forth. They get back to Erie Tales from 1959, believe it or not. Some more Erie Pubs. Classic pre-code comic book covers. This one, that is really, that's Myron Foss being attacked by his own creations that he's drawing, right? That's the classic. He's drawing the horror story with the ghouls and creatures, and of course they come through the window to attack him. It's pretty funny. Great stuff. This is another Myron Foss cover. So they get to the, the beginnings, the sincerest form of flattery. Fantastic stuff here, folks. Chickstone. That was a thing you could 
Yeah. In the original uh, Erie pubs where you could cut this out and it was like your own ghoulish chick stone mask. <laughs> Fantastic. This is just indispensable, folks. Weird Shit, a Contagious Confessional Introduction by Stephen Arbisset. Right there. So, highly recommended. Uh, it is on sale. The link is in the description. If you love Erie Publications, you're going to want to get this fine book. The other one I have is The Worst of Erie Publications. <laughs> yes. Once again by Mike Howlett with an uh, introduction by Craig Yo. Yo Books, as you may recall, IDW, Yo Books, they did fantastic reproductions of the pre-code horror stories in full color. That was all Craig Yo. He did a, an amazing job. Check out these interior full color pages. God, man, this is, this is some beautiful stuff. They really did such a great job with the worst of Erie publications. IDW Publishing, San Diego, California. Burn this book. <laughs> it's a Craig Yo. The good, the bad, and the eerie of Meyer Foss. Carl Burgos, man. The Carl Burgos, as you may know, uh, invented, created the Human Torch. The Golden Age Human Torch. Once again, they give a, a nice intro here to Erie Pubs, and then they start in with the stories. These reproductions in black and white are fantastic, and I think many times they took them from the original artwork, so they are crisp. They are clean as a whistle, man. But what a great, great combo of stories. Here we go, The Green Horror. Now, this was written by Ruth Roach and originally, of course, a 1950s pre-code story. What they did is they brought in Ezra Jackson to gore it up, to, like, put blood in there and so forth. You know, uh, that's how they, they wouldn't, at this point, you know, they weren't, like, redoing, redrawing the stories. They were just goring them up. They really do have some of the best in here. Tombstone for a Ghoul is great. I chopped her head off. It's a sad romantic tale. <laughs> they just go to town with some of the best stories from Erie Publications. Highly recommended, folks. Heads of Horror. You, you gotta read it to believe it. That is the worst of Erie Publications. I cannot recommend it enough. Both of the books I've just shown you are on sale, and I have links in the description. So uh, check them out, please. And that ends my presentation of Erie Publications and the original art prints and the books. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Bye.